Today we're going to be looking at why the Japanese rejected the Elvis's Golden Records album back in 1958. And later I'm going to be showing you some Japanese copies that I have. But before that we're going to take a look at three original covers because I'm very fortunate in that I have three original copies from three different countries. And the first one that I'll show you is this American copy from March 1958. And this one is a Hollywood pressing, 10S, 10S matrix numbers for anyone who's interested in that kind of thing. And it has the original front cover with the reference to 31, is it? 31 grueling takes on the back. They changed the wording slightly on later pressings. So as you can see, the cover is looking a bit tired. It is 60, what, 64 years old now, almost 64 years old. And it's literally coming apart at the seams. But there's plenty of life in the old dog yet, as far as the record goes. It's a, it's a real belter. Definitely worth seeking out if you can find an original pressing from America. And I also have this UK copy. This is one of the first UK copies with a maroon label. And just looking at the two covers before I started filming, I did notice that there were a couple of interesting differences in the two covers. So I'll see if I can show them to you. If anything, the American photograph is a little bit sharper um, than the UK cover. But the, the UK picture has actually been touched up a little bit as though they've made him look a little bit more feminine. His cheeks look rosier and there's a little pinkish hue to the lips and to the forehead. Now back in 1958 in the UK, no man would go out on the street with blusher on his face, not unless he wanted to get his head kicked in. But he certainly does look a little bit more feminine on this one. And there is another thing, another difference I noticed between the two covers, and uh, that is the records. On the American cover here, you can see that Nipper is visible in this record here in the middle, and also to some extent on some of the other records. But presumably because they couldn't use the Nipper logo in Britain at the time, there's no Nipper on the UK cover. It's just, just black labels with no, no Nipper. So that's the UK copy. And <clears throat> let's go to the third copy, which is the original Japanese pressing from March 1959. And if we just compare that with the American cover. The photograph on the American copy is, again, slightly sharper than the one on the Japanese cover, but they have actually used the American record designs with Nipper on the labels here. So I've just shown you the Japanese pressing, and you're probably thinking, well, what are you are talking about? They rejected the Golden Records album. There it is. Well, this one actually came out in March 1959, whereas the American original came out one year earlier in March 1958. So why did they take a year to release the album? Well, you have to bear in mind that there was always a delay between an American record coming out and then the equivalent or similar coming out in a foreign country. And in the case of Japan, it was usually about four months. So Golden Records came out in uh, March 1958, but the previous month, in February 1958, in Japan, they actually released the Loving You album, which I've shown in previous videos. Now, the whole point about the Golden Records series is that the record company gathered singles that had never appeared before on albums and released them on LP for the first time. Now, I realize that on the American version of Elvis's Golden Records, there were three songs or so which had appeared on albums. But in the main, they, they had never appeared on albums before. However, in, Jan in February 1958, uh, the Japanese released the Loving You album. And so, of course, it had Loving You and Teddy Bear. That's two songs from the Golden Records album. It also had Jailhouse Rock, That's When Your Heart Aches Begin, and Treat Me Nice. So that's five songs on the Loving You album, which came out in February 1958, one month before the American Golden Records in March 1958. And not only that, let's have a look at some of the other songs on Golden Records. Love Me, of course, was on the second album. 
Love Me Tender, Hound Dog, Don't Be Cruel, and I Want You, I Need You, I Love You were all released on an album called Love Me Tender, a 10-inch LP. Japan only, 10-inch LP. Heartbreak Hotel was released on Elvis's first LP in Japan. And All Shook Up and Too Much were released on another Japan-only LP, a 10-inch compilation called Top 10. So that means that by February 1958, 13 of the 14 songs on Elvis's Golden Records had already been released on LPs in Japan. And the only song that had not been released on LP at that time was... What's the one song I haven't talked about? It's Any Way You Want Me. So that's the reason why this album was initially rejected in Japan. And one year later, they decided to bring it out anyway. So at the time of its release in March 1959, only Any Way You Want Me had never appeared on LP in Japan before. Now, as you might expect, this turned out to be the biggest selling Elvis LP in Japan in the 1950s. Certainly, it's the only one which is fairly easy to find. However, it's not easy to find in the condition that this one here is in. This is a really nice copy. There are also actually three cover variants. This one here, and you can see it says Victor and um, the catalog number, etc. And it's right in the top right corner here. There's another variant where this black text here is just above the blue word records. And then there's also a very, very rare pressing which does not have anything here. All the black text and the nipper logo is, is missing. It just says Elvis's Golden Records with nothing else on the front. Now, if you look for this album on Discogs, you will find it on there, but it states on there that this album is an export copy because it has all English text on the back. The only difference between this and the American LP cover is that this album here has the Japanese catalog number at the top left here. It also does have the American LPM 1707 catalog number here. And all the text, the English liner notes are exactly the same. But in actual fact, this is not an export copy. So the information on Discogs is not right. Uh, I know that for a couple of reasons. So firstly, export LPs had uh, a sheet pasted over the original Japanese cover. And the second reason is I have never seen a version of this album with Japanese text on the back cover. But I've seen lots of copies of this with the uh, English text on the back. So why would there be so many export copies still in Japan, but no copies with Japanese on the back? Well, the answer is because this is not an export copy. So that is the answer to a question you probably never asked. Why did the Japanese wait so long to release Elvis's Golden Records? Well, now you know. So just bear with me while I shift over to the other side of the room and show you the other Elvis Golden Records that I have to show you from Japan. So following that 1959 original pressing, the album was reissued in 1962 in both mono and, as you can see here, stereo. There's a back cover. It's still almost all in English. You have the song titles and the album title in Japanese. And there's the label, the familiar Victor label, which was used until 1969. And this is a very rare copy from the late 60s, early 70s, 69 to 71, something like that. It's the first RCA pressing. So the cover is basically the same as the Victor one, except it has the RCA logo at the top. And the back cover is virtually identical. And there's the label. In 1972, it was reissued in this smart new cover, which is actually a gatefold. And there's the back cover. In fact, all four volumes of the series were reissued like this. And again, it was on the RCA label. And it was reissued several more times over the years until this version came out in 1992 in mono, the very last copy of Elvis's Golden Records in Japan. And if you're wondering whether the Japanese released anything instead of Elvis's Golden Records in the summer of 1958, then the answer is yes, but I'll talk about that in another video.